I'm absolutely delighted to flag off our first Women Leaders Program. Now, there are many moral and emotional reasons for encouraging women to take on leadership positions at the workplace. Women bring fresh perspectives, different mindsets, and a collaborative approach, all of which, frankly, are essential for business today. So these are all the important considerations. But to my mind, the development of women leaders is not only a diversity issue, or a gender issue, or an inclusivity issue. It's a solid business issue. A worldwide study has just been conducted by the Washington-based Peterson Institute for International Economics. That report concludes that there is a very, very strong correlation between the presence of women in corporate leadership positions and company performance. This was true across countries and across industries. And I have a feeling that more and more evidence is going to emerge to show that by encouraging women, we are also improving our top and bottom lines. In this VUCA world, volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous, the challenge is how do we sustain our competitive advantage and yet show extreme care for all stakeholders while nurturing and nourishing the core values of the group. At the core of sustained competitiveness is innovation. And innovation is built by celebrating and recognizing the uniqueness of every individual. And in the Mahindra group, we totally believe and we are committed to, to, to harness, to tap into the vast power that diversity and inclusiveness brings to creating powerful answers and innovation and therefore sustained competitive advantage. In the last few years, the Group Diversity Council has focused on playing the role of a catalyst a catalyst that provokes the status quo and encourages new reactions and new ideas. Awareness and sensitization, policy shaping, communities and networks, and developmental initiatives that are targeted at specific groups have been the focal areas of the Group Diversity Council. Speaking of diversity, one of the special areas of focus for us has been gender diversity. We are often asked, why gender diversity? And our response is, why not? 50% of the world's and India's population is represented by women. So why not have more of these women on the table in terms of influencing the products we create and the services we deliver? Closer home, in our group, we have a representation of around 17% of women in the workforce, a number that steadily diminishes as you go higher and higher. While an enabling ecosystem and policies that encourage women to remain in the workforce are very important, what is also important is suitable development interventions that encourage women in middle management to take on leadership roles as they grow within the organization. And this is where the Women Leaders Program or WLP comes in. Women Leaders Program has been designed by a cross-business team constituted of members drawn from various businesses across the group. They have used instructional methodology to design this program. The learning objectives and the end objectives have been vetted out by the business leaders and the HR leaders. Another unique strength of this program is having business anchors to provide perspective. And we are delighted to have two most experienced business leaders, Mr. Rajan Vadhira and Mr. L. Ravichandran to anchor this whole program. Speaking of the content of the program, we have co-created the same with one of the premier institutions of India, SPJN Institute of Management and Research. At SPJMR, we've always believed in influencing practice and value-based growth. Secondly, we've defined ourselves as a school of management, which means that wherever management can enable new business outcomes, we would like to be a part of it. When it comes to Mahindra and SPJMR, one thing we share in common is that we bring the best of West and East to create a brand that is aspirationally global. This is something that Mahindra is already doing and we at SPJMR are combining the best of Western efficiency, Western pedagogy with our own strong value education and pedagogy and examples that are uniquely tailored to India. It's this combination that is going to make the Women Leaders Program not only a success but a path-breaking success. WLP is an 18 months developmental program based on the three E's, 
the education experience and exposure. The education piece comprises of the classroom training, the e-modules, webinars, etc. The coaching and mentoring is a very strong integral part of this whole program which practically takes care of the experience and exposure and of course it is accompanied by the team leadership projects. Leadership projects is meant to provide an opportunity to participants where they shall learn to implement classroom learning into practical business situations. They shall be able to leverage coaching and mentoring support for creating breakthroughs in their business processes. Role modeling and networking are also an integral part of this program to complete the learning experience. The first module is all about purpose driven business transformation. We are ready to roll out this module on 25th September at MLU Nashik. So it is about understanding what is the narrative and the script that you are living. But more importantly, how do you change your script and to be what you aspire to be. As the women participants get on with their developmental journey, we will be back in the second week of April with the second module called Inspired Leadership for Business Transformations. The participants will be required to create exponential synergy, create win-win solutions, build networks and collaborate with stakeholders. In the third module, they will be groomed for role modeling for business transformations. This would be about end September next year. While being trained to manage future businesses, the participants shall be required to create and implement a vision for their function or their business. They will also be expected to take risks, nurture a culture that will inspire innovation. They will also be developed on functional abilities so that the women can shoulder higher responsibilities. After these three modules, the participants would be making a final presentation around February 2018 and that will be followed by the valedictory session the participants will also get the certificates from MLU as well as SPJ and IMR. So this Women Leaders Program has come at just the right time. And I'm very, very glad that it's being designed as a long-term initiative rather than just a one-time effort. Because another important point the Peterson Report makes is that while it is important to have women in positions of highest authority, the greatest gains come when there is a pipeline of women leaders throughout the organization. This program is the beginning of that pipeline and I have absolutely no doubt that we are going to see great gains from it. In our Indian culture, we have always venerated Shakti, the divine feminine energy and power. With this milestone program, I believe that the forces of Shakti will soon be unleashed and the impact will be felt throughout the Mahindra group. So congratulations to all of you who have been selected for this program and my compliments and gratitude to the faculty and design team who have designed this unique leadership platform. You all have my best wishes and my full support.